He made itself. No. 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 Well, I tell you, you and Blea, right? No, I, that, that some, somebody's doubting it, yeah. So I'm, no, I'm giving I'm you the saying, answer that that's She wouldn't believe it. If I turn on this television station, it's popped into existence. It just, no man made it. You said Muhammad Ali's crazy. All right. Well, if this glass can't make itself, if I told you those clothes you have on wove themselves, nobody created them, those clothes made themselves, you wouldn't believe it. But if your, if your clothes didn't make itself, if that glass couldn't make itself, if this building didn't make itself, then how did the moon get out there? How did the stars and Jupiter, and Neptune and Mars and the sun, how did nature, how, how did all this come here if didn't know why is something planning to make it? So what I'm saying is, I believe that we're going to be judged. Should a man like Hitler kill all the Jews and get away with it? Somebody should punish him. Maybe he get it, don't get it now, he get it when he die. In hell for eternity. So, what I'm going to do when I get out of boxing is to get myself ready to meet God because my plane might blow up. Don't planes blow up in this country sometime and crash? Don't people die every day? Uh, not okay. every day. It's a scary thing to think that I'm going to hell to burn eternally forever. So what am I going to do? We I'm taking such a... I'm explaining what you asked me a question. You asked me questions I can't just answer like that. When I get out of boxing or when I'm through, I'm going to do all I can to help people. That's why I'm here with Johnny Walker. Here's a poor man came all the way to America. Here's a bunch of boys need some money, and somebody is calling me to help them. God is watching me. God is God. Don't praise me because I beat Joe Frazier. God don't give nothing about Joe Frazier. God don't care nothing about England or America as far as your wealth. It's all His. He wants to know how do we treat each other, how do we help each other. So. I'm going to dedicate my life to using my name and popularity, helping charities, helping people, uniting people, bring people bumming each other because of religious beliefs. We need somebody in the world to help make peace. So when I die, if there's a heaven, I want to see it. Because we live how long? 80 years? The odds are everybody in this room, some of you are going to be dead 20 years from now, some of you are going to be dead 50 years from now. Some are going to be dead 30, and some are going to be dead 60, 70 years ago. We are going to die soon. And if you live to be, say, 125 years old, which we don't do, right? Let's say we live to be 250, and you can have sex for 145 of those years. You're going to come to the end after that. So we don't have it about 80 years on Earth. This is a test to see where will we spend our life in heaven and hell. This is not the life now. Your real self is inside you. Your body gets old. Some of you go to look at the fridge, look old. you don't have no teeth. Your hair is leaving you. Your bodies get tired. But your soul and your spirit never die. That's going to live forever. So your body is just housing your soul and spirit. So God is testing us on how we treat each other, how we live, to see where our real home be in heaven. So this physical stuff don't last for so long. So my car, this building is going to be here when the man who built it dead. There have been many kings and queens of England. They're all dead. After this one is gone, another one will come. So we don't stay here. We're just trustees. We don't own nothing. Even your children are not yours, if you think I'm lying. Your wife is not yours. You don't own your children. You don't own your family. So what am I saying? The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die. Are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity. How long is eternity? Let's imagine. Take the Sahara Desert. There's a lot of sand on the Sahara Desert, right? Then take, imagine that one grain of sand represents a thousand years. And when you're in hell burning, when you die and go to hell, you're going to burn forever and ever and ever. No end. How long is that? Give you an idea how long eternity is. Take the Sahara Desert. And I told you to wait a thousand years. And every thousand years, I want you to pick up a grain of sand until the desert is empty. Okay, wait a thousand years, pick up the first grain. Wait another thousand years before you get the next grain. Keep that up until there's no more sand in the desert. Whew. You know how long it's just a... I mean, America's not but 200 years old. We got 800 more years to go before a thousand. So it just scares me to think that I'm going to die one day and go to hell. I'm on an airplane that might blow up. I'm always traveling. And to go to hell and God is going to judge my soul. The police, I might kill people. I might rob people. The authorities might not catch me. 
the FBI, Scotland Yard might not catch me, but when I die, somebody's watching me and keeping count, and I can't get away, and I'm going to burn forever and ever and ever. I'll go to heaven. So what am I going to do when I'm through fighting? I only have 16 years to be productive, get myself ready to meet God and go to the best place. Don't that make sense? Thank you. حتى إذا جاء أحدهم الموت قال رب ارجعون لعلي أعمل صالحا فيما تركت كلا إنها كلمة هو قائلها ومن ورائهم برزخ إلى يوم يبعثون